gonna start taking off all the stuff that we don't need in here. Coolant overflow, into the washer fluid. Start tucking these off to the middle. And hit it with a scotch bread pad and start laying some paint. Evan's taking off the fenders and front bumper, make everything easier to paint. Alex over here trying to film some cinematic shit with the cool license plate. Those are worthless. Why are you taking those off? That thing sounds so retarded. We got most of the front end off. The passenger fender, the front bumper. The last thing is that driver side fender. Almost everything's out of here. We're gonna leave the brake booster, the master cylinders in. Just gonna mask off the fuse boxes and probably the subframe. I'm right, using some 220 sandpaper to scuff up the engine bay a bit so we get the paint a nice surface to stick on. Alright, the engine bay is all sanded and washed. All the dust is off. You gotta mask the brake booster, brake lines, fuel lines, subframe, harness, and start spraying. I right, got pretty much everything masked off. What about the lantern? It's getting dark out, so I gotta get it done. All right, now it's really dark out, but we got the first coat of paint on. Kind of hard to get in here. That was like the hardest part, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, so next day, Evan laid some clear in the engine bay. Uh, just got off of work, so it's dark again. Looks pretty good. We'll say we should be doing this during the day, but like we work all day, and so we only have the night time to do it. Yeah, that's this is how not to paint your engine bay. Looks good though.